What's going on guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting and welcome to another mini review on a, uh, a flashlight, an EDC flashlight. This one's made by Blitzwolf. The model is the BWET1. So, they're getting uh, creative with that naming. You open this up, you got a couple uh, instruction manuals, stuff like that. Uh, the box says, thank you for choosing Blitzwolf. Now, here is the light itself. And then it also, interestingly enough, comes with uh, like a carrying thing and this odd little diffuser. Now, we'll play with that in a second. I think that's all that's in the box. I already opened this up. I already put a battery in it just to kind of see how it worked. Um, the battery, just twist this in half and uh, there's a double A battery fits in there. So it's kind of convenient that it runs on double A's. Okay, so with one battery, it looks like you're getting about 240 hours of runtime. That's on the lowest brightness setting. Uh, there's an extension tube, it looks like, that you can use two double A batteries to get up to 300 hours of runtime, again, at the lowest brightness setting. So you can kind of see the flashlight right here. I mean, it's a pretty simple design. There is a, uh, a logo right here, a thing that says hot right there. Um, there's no like, aggressive bezel on the end for some of them tactical flashlights. You'll see a lot of times uh, they're kind of, you know, spiked or whatever. This one's just flat. This thing, it just drives me crazy. I'm sure you could just spin that off and take it off, but yeah. Keep in mind that that thing does spin around if you want this thing hooked up. Let's talk about the functions with this thing. You've got the one button here, so if I push this once, uh, nothing's happening. Did I break it? It was working last time I tried this. Here's something I, I have to say this. About these uh, imported flashlights, they all, the threads are terrible on them. When you unscrew a piece, screwing them back together is a nightmare. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Okay, no, it's on. It's on. It's just really dim. Yo. Um, I'm gonna turn off the lights. Okay, yeah, you can see it. That's on the lowest setting. Now, if I push this twice, I get the highest setting. And then if I hold this down, I can actually select, maybe, if I hold this down. Nope, maybe I just need to be on it, on it once. If I hold this down. Okay, so that was 50% when it blinks twice. And you see me hold it, and it's dimming, and that's 1%. Okay, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, by holding this button down, it'll gradually increase or decrease. It switches increasing or decreasing each time you push the button. Uh, when it strobes once, that means it's at 1% brightness. Twice means 50% brightness. Three times means 100% brightness. Uh, and you can also just double tap real quick to go from 1% to 100%. So, let's try this again. Um, okay, so we're on, that's 1%. If I double tap, we're up to 100%. If I triple tap, one, two, three, I get an SOS strobe. And I can just tap it once and turn that off. Tap it once and I'm at 1% here. If I wanna go up, I think I can just press down and hold. And we should, maybe, maybe, Nothing's happening. Okay, I'm gonna let go. Try this one more time. Push. There we go. And it's gonna strobe twice. Boom, that's 50% brightness. It's gonna keep going up until three times. And that's 100% brightness. Cool. And it will remember what brightness setting you were at. So if I turn this off right now, when I turn it back on with one press, it should stay at that 100% brightness. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's. Do the benchmark test here against my mini ML by four sevens, one of my favorites. Uh, so this is low, this is medium, and this is high. Now, if I push this once, I'll get the high. Eh, this thing's pretty freaking bright. I don't know what's, a, what's brighter. I'd say this has more of a hot spot, but I mean, this thing's close. Now, let's talk about this odd little diffuser. So I think I just, you know, just, push it onto here and uh, I get sort of like a little, whoa, why'd you turn off? Wait, what's this thing's deal? I think it's at 1% now maybe. Twice, okay. Mm. Okay. 
I don't know, uh, maybe it's a battery connection. So anyways, this, this little diffuser makes sort of like a, an interesting little light stick, um, which I think could be kind of cool. Maybe you're out camping or something. If the light would stay on, geez. <laughs> I will say I didn't have this issue yesterday, so it could very well be user error, but I mean, it's a flashlight. How much user error could there be? I don't know. Uh, the Blitzwolf BWET1, let me turn the lights back on. Yeah, the, bit, the Blitzwolf BW-ET1 flashlight. Uh, unfortunately, oh, oh, okay, okay, we got a light. We're back. Go up to here, let's see, hopefully this will just stay on now. Um, I mean, it could very well be, be user error, I'm not ruling that out, but at the same time, it is a flashlight. It's one button to use, I don't know. This thing runs for about $30, I wanna say. The Amazon link is down in the description below, as well as their website link, which does have a little more information on the light itself. Really, I just tapped it. It's gotta be a connection with that battery. Uh, yeah, 